hello everybody and welcome to our little um, playthrough with comments or something uh, session from well we're here again Stein Rogo yeah. same place as we went went through the Leaves of Yesteryear album in May I think it must have been yeah this is Stein Rogo Surdal he's the bass player and composer of our new single and I'm, I'm Hietil I'm the singer and also composer of the new single uh, released today which is a big thing for us. A bit earlier than expected, wasn't it, Stein? Yeah, it was. Um, but I, I suppose Corona had something to do with that. Yeah. yeah, because this wasn't planned. We had we had made quite a lot of plans for the next few years, actually. And uh, then, everybody, as everybody knows, we, the world entered a new situation in March. And, and we had all our shows postponed or cancelled postponed until next year some of them <clears throat> and kind of you were in as like a really creative state the, the first few months at least yeah I was I felt kind of lucky because uh, I came out of a, a very creative period uh, out of Christmas uh, yeah this year uh, and uh, last year I mean and then suddenly when corona uh, hit hit us I still had some creativity left and then it's just it just blossomed because I was uh, as everybody else forced to stay home yeah and it could easily have turned the other way you know that you just go into complete black or silence from the studio but but uh, I kept working for many months with uh, with you new material and stuff like that you made a whole new soul album as well I did uh, yeah I did uh, and um, I'm still working uh, in the studio a lot yeah that's good. So for the creativity, it, it was uh, good, but yeah. Yeah. So I guess where, where did it all start with uh, the world without a view? I'm not sure. We, we, we brought some old ideas together and then started a long journey because yeah. I yeah. don't think we've ever worked as much with one song no. as this one. I, I counted, <clears throat> maybe it's more, but I counted 25 or 26 different versions on my computer for this song and I remember in the summer uh, we uh, we had some barbecue and stuff like that even back then early summer uh, spring uh, April we started with this song and then just shipped it back and forward and tweaking it up and tearing it down and uh, mm. so I mean it was but it's, it has been a great ride as well because for the first time, we felt that okay, this is what we we can do right now. Uh, the shows are cancelled. Uh, let's take a song and just dive into it and really, really focus on every little part of the song. And I mean, we sh switched around, uh, you know, chorus, uh, verses, stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's anything we haven't done on this song. No, probably not. So uh, it was kind of like fun, but but but. Then again, if we are supposed to have six months or seven months making a song, it's going to be a long time uh, making, until, <laughs> making an until album. Until next album, yeah. <laughs> I remember, yeah. like, we, we we tried to get some help from some studio guys to uh, to um, to link our, our our PCs because in in the beginning of this, like, the creation of of the world without a view, we couldn't really be together at all. Oh. So, so I remember some some late evenings we were trying to kind of li listen to it in in real time together, yeah. and it didn't really work. No, no, no. We're didn't. not twenty anymore, so so some of it was just like <laughs> over, over the phone. Yeah, yeah. It's like after, and also by email, I, I was writing to you like after yeah. two minutes forty seven seconds, that theme should be twice as long yeah. or something like that. That should just go away, and we yeah. should add it, add something else to it. Change then, that chord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's down to every single note I think. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, so let's hope you enjoy. Yeah, we, yeah we're going to play through the entire song for you. It's going to be a bit in annoying for you guys, I guess, because uh, we're going to stop it uh, as soon as you get into it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's possible now to buy it uh, at our um, band camp. There should be a link somewhere. Uh, and we appreciate your, your support. Uh, hope you like it. We're going to play the next next couple of minutes and then comment a little bit yeah. afterwards.
Sorry guys. <laughs> you wanted to talk a little bit about the bass sound. Yeah, because um, uh, this may be a little bit uh, on the nerdy side, but uh, anyway, we, we, um, there's a lot of compression in the bass because on the quiet parts here, we, we wanted to go a little bit in Paul McCartney sound. As, as, as the, for the heavy parts, we, we did the same thing as we did uh, on uh, Leaves of Yesteryear. We went for, uh, if you can have a, a reference, it would be um, a little bit of Eddie Jackson, uh, the album, uh, uh, Queensryche uh, uh, album, uh, Operation Mindcrime. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a bass sound uh, that uh, I really, with a mid boost which I really, really love. And then we, we kind of like combo, uh, combine that with Paul McCartney and try to... Uh, and for me, it sounds really interesting because uh, it's brown and it's pretty hard when it's hard. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a bit uh, cranky. Uh, so, uh, and also the fact that in this verse, we have three major chords in a row. In a row. Which that is a new world record for Green Carnation, probably. <laughs> yes, it's, <laughs> it's three happy chords that is after uh, one another, and that's uh, it's too happy, actually. Can you can you say a little bit because you wrote the lyrics for this song? Yeah. It's got a certain element of happiness in it, but yeah. but it's 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 the it's the opposites between the dark sides and, exactly. and the happy sides. That it is uh, my, my my what I was thinking about was. Uh, each of us kind of like has had two different persons living. Uh, you, can, you can see the, the, the Seinfeld episode where you have a devil on the one shoulder and a, an angel on one shoulder. Yeah. But uh, uh, kind of like if you let, if you give one of them too much space or, or too much control of you, it changes your direct mood and it changes the way you see things. Uh, because uh, you know the usual uh, half empty glass or half full, uh, but more emotionally, it was kind of like some days when I when I wake up and I I, I see the world, it's it's kind of like it's it's uh, pretty dark, you know, and uh, it's too much shit going on, and I can wake up the next day and I think, well, there is hope, uh, and the same thing is my my emotions. My feelings, uh, and I guess maybe it's the age as well, you know. Uh, some days I, I just feel like uh, it's, it's hard, you know. Of and course. some days I feel that, okay, <laughs> there is hope. Yeah, yeah. So it's about the two, the two people fighting and uh, not giving one another too much space. To yeah. try to balance it, yeah. 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 Um, we plan to talk a little bit about, you know, life after... <laughs> after releasing uh, Leaves of Yesteryear. Yeah. It was our first album for 14 years. Um, and the reception has been like so amazing. Yeah, overwhelming. Overwhelming yeah. And, and from all over the world. And yeah. it's like, we just have to thank everybody, I guess, because uh, without you guys, we wouldn't have managed to do this. And we most certainly wouldn't have the energy and the motivation to do <clears throat> another kind of big project for us yeah. so soon after the, the release of our last album. So, so thank you very much for that. Yeah. Um, we are going to try and listen a bit more. Yeah. And then we'll be back to haunting.
Now you hear a little bit of guitar sounds here. Yeah. I think uh, and Richard Gisola, the producer and mixer, uh, did a fantastic job. I mean, he is a guitar wizard. He's a wizard in everything. But <laughs> yeah. He really... Uh, also the drums, I, I just have to say, because it sounds... There's, there's a lot of room in the, in the drum mix now. Yeah. And um, I, I, I feel, you know, it's kind of like old school, you know, uh, how they did it in the 70s with a lot of room mics. But it's really hard to do that in that much, uh, you know, when there's that much distortion going on <coughs> on the guitars and massive synths, you know, because it will, it's easy to disappear in the sound. But I really think he, he managed to to do a great, great mix on the drums. I, I really love the sounds on the drums and also the guitar sounds. It's, it's just... Yeah, because like the sound is, I guess, easy for people to... Although I think we've taken some steps in, in, in many different directions from yeah. the album yeah, yeah. to this one. Um, you would recognize this, the sound as well, I guess, but it's, it's kind of been devel developing a little bit. It, yeah. it doesn't sound exactly like the album. It's kind of, uh, <clears throat> it's a progress there as well, I think. Uh, absolutely. And, and uh, that's the fas uh, fascinating thing with working with Andre. He's always at the look, uh, always searching for, you know, when he heard this song, he was kind of like thinking straight away. Yeah. What is... What is the thing uh, with the guitars here? What is the drums? Where are we going on this? How can we relax and still give it all uh, and uh, be focused on the sound? Uh, really, really great to work like that. And, uh, but I think it sounds like, actually, maybe it's just me, but it sounds like everybody has aged a bit. <laughs> it's the corona. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, it's yeah, ten uh, years in five months. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, no, but I, I really like to mention because this is this has been like a low budget um, production, yeah, yeah. and with uh, Andre Kirkesula, who's done the recording and mixing in his dub studio here in Kristiansand, he stretched and used so much more time than we actually paid him for. Yeah. And also, then suddenly, the people, some of the people we worked with on on the album just said that yeah they, they were stretching yeah. much longer uh, than we could expect from professional people like that so so to to Maur Applebaum in in California who did the mastering again uh, we just Fantastic have to say th job. thank you very, as very always. much yeah thank as you. always and also when we planned this no budget cover and uh, I told well, Costin Shirano uh, who did our two music videos for the last one he said no, you cannot you cannot release a new single without a proper cover I'll make one for you and and he made this this amazing thing that's here in the background yeah. he's also made a music video which is going to be released later on uh, for this like 10 minute song and thank you also Costin for, for doing this it's it's been it's a bit strange because we couldn't, ex we could, like a band, we, we couldn't, we never expect people, professional people in the business to, to stretch as far as they have done. So, yeah. so this one goes out to all. Yeah. And hopefully we can make it up for you one day. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. When we become really like, huge stars after this release, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we'll do uh, that. Right, we're going to do another minute or so um, from from the world without a view. Uh, I, I, Trot told me to, 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 to say this to people, that uh, <clears throat> the only way for you to, to get the entire version, you can of course cut and paste this video, <laughs> but <clears throat> I think you'd rather enjoy it if you, if you listen yeah. to the entire one. We, we have it on, on our Bandcamp yeah. site and there should be a link somewhere yeah. uh, released today. Only like five euros or dollars or something like that. And that goes straight to the band because, well, that's our only chance to, to kind of get back what we've invested yeah. in this production. And this production is for you guys. So, yeah. so here's the next uh, minute or so.
so this didn't really go as planned because I was supposed to stop it uh, one and a half minutes ago, but we were dis discussing something. <laughs> yeah. So I forgot. Okay. So you got yeah. uh, like a longer yeah. um, stretch than. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I guess. I guess you'll hopefully um, be okay with that. Uh, we were gonna talk a little bit about uh, like sources of inspiration, about some of Bjorn's uh, epic solos. Yeah. And even though this is, I, I guess m many people would recognize this as a typical reincarnation song, it's also a little bit atypical. Uh, yeah. Is that because maybe you and me have listened to some new bands lately? or, or Yeah, that, that maybe? could be because <laughs> some of the, uh, especially in the verses and, uh, and uh, the, the, the pre-chorus, it, it's some chord progressions that are not very typical reincarnation. And there's also a theme here that when, when we rehearsed this for the show we were supposed to have today, which was sadly yeah. cancelled and tomorrow, uh, Jot called some of, some of one of the themes a free jazz theme, which <laughs> I guess says a little bit about yeah. our different, it's not exactly free jazz, I would no, say, no, no. Yeah. it's just a bit different than, yeah, than we yeah. normally do. Uh, Free so that jazz, says, yeah. yeah, says a little bit about the difference of uh, yeah. of the people in reincarnation and and where we're from musically, uh, which I find interesting and which I think personally is the reason why we sound like we sound mm -hmm. and I guess we sound like nobody else and yeah. all bands would say the same of course but yeah yeah but but uh, but what would be the point to 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 actually be in a status quo when you're making music you know you try to to push yourself a little bit uh, but but. Uh, on the song, uh, I hear the, the green carnation typical thread in the song, uh, or the rope, <laughs> the rope. <laughs> but uh, but also the free jazz chords. Uh, 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 when we talk about three major chords in a row, you know that's yeah. that's pretty strange for us. But um, there there are many chords in this song. Uh, and uh, it's it's going many places, mm. and I don't believe that. Well, I think you have to listen to this song a, a, f a few times to to get the whole song. Uh, the, the, there's it, probably also many levels for yeah, people. It is. I think because people told me at least that the listening to Leaves of Yesteryear, they they're kind of still hearing new things yeah yeah and I think this is maybe even more extreme when it comes to all that yeah because I think it's, so. it's a long song yeah. and there's many like many different layers to it I it think. is it is it's a lot of details mm -hmm. and uh, um, and but but again I think that it's more interesting when when you have to kind of like if you like it and then you 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 listen to it several times and then you find new stuff and then you find uh, parts uh, that interest you uh, mm. more than other mm. parts and then you instead of just having uh, a song going in and going out um, so so it takes a little bit from the listener uh, of course that's how it should be but yeah w that's uh, we love that yeah i think that's uh, something we we've done all our career but but not least with leaves of yesteryear and i think yeah. this is kind of a progression from leaves of yeah. yesteryear when it comes to that and uh, yeah we also talked about that one of the signature elements of reincarnation is the epic yeah, guitar yeah. solos yeah. from from Bjorn Hafstad. yeah and uh, and again you know he's just fantastic with well, the the melodic stuff he's doing uh, also the technique he's a great guitar player but he has kind of like the notes which are very typical Bjorn oh yeah uh, it's, it's 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 no mistake you you can, you can I, I, I get I've been playing with Bjorn uh, since the early 90s of course in different projects so I know him but but he still has those intervals that he's re it's really him oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and then, the uh, sound in, in his fingers yeah it is it, it's like he's got one of the most distinct guitar yeah. sounds that uh, I know of. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's him and it's a guy I actually met last week when I went to this to the neighbor city at Christensen to Arndal huh? uh, Bod yeah, which is yeah. the guitar player of Clawfinger, which was yeah. a, like a rap metal band from Norway. Well, still is, I yeah, think, yeah, Norway yeah. and Sweden in the great band. mid 90s yeah, yeah. And, and up until now. And he's also got, you can hear it's Bod yeah. uh, playing yeah. whenever he touches the guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fascinating. Yeah. Um, I think we're getting close to the end. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I just have to say one yeah. thing about the, the last part we heard now before. Uh, before the ending or the, the piano break. Yeah. 
we had a little bit talk about is this a little bit of King Crimson, is it a little bit of Floyd in there, is it a little bit of Yes and stuff like that, the old school yeah, Prague yeah, yeah. masters and uh, the set sail uh, part. And uh, because there is a very interesting guitar part going on there uh, in one side and there is the mellotron and the flute and stuff like that and then also the chord progression here is very atypical. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, um, but, but the but theme as uh, the theme suits into the song yeah. in a way which is very typical of Green Connection yeah, yeah, again, yeah, I guess. Is, so yeah. It's, uh, yeah. yeah, maybe I tried to stop this a bit earlier. Maybe we should like talk for 10 more minutes or something. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, it's it's like we can talk a little bit about the future, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, right now we're in November 2020. Our gigs, uh, our anniversary gigs, who we were supposed to play in Kristiansand, where we're from, uh, is well, isn't going to happen, which is a huge bummer for us. We have been rehearsing a lot, a lot, because we were rehearsing an acoustic set for the Friday gig, and. Uh, and we have pl plugged regular set for the Saturday gigs, which yeah. was too. Um, next year is the anniversary of uh, Acoustic Versus, so we're going to do something about that. It's also an anniversary for Light of Day, Day of Darkness. We're not going to do another, you know, uh, Light of Day, Day of Darkness uh, live thing. Uh, we might do that with Acoustic Versus. Yeah. Acoustic Versus is going to be released on vinyl. Yeah. During the year some sometime, I think after the summer, and we might do some acoustic shows, which we have rehearsed quite a lot now, yeah, so hopefully yeah. we don't have to, to build that, that up. And also many of the gigs we were supposed to play this year has been postponed until, I think the first one is uh, Metal Days maybe, uh, in Slovenia. That's June or July, I think. And then from July and through the year, it's quite a lot. Yeah. We're going to headline the Prog Power Europe. Yeah. We're gonna do another Prog Power US. Yeah, we just uh, have to see what happens, you know. And uh, Never know. nobody knows right now, but but hopefully we'll. There was some good news when it come, came to this uh, this uh, yeah, vaccine stuff. Vaccine yeah. uh, just a few days ago, yeah. which could be a game changer. Yeah. But I think basically we're gonna try and use and we like the day we agreed that we have to cancel our free shows in Christian Sand. We also agreed that let's use the time we should have used on playing live to write new music mm. and let's just see where that leads us yeah that's that's what we <coughs> can do right now and uh hopefully make some good music some in the future some good stuff but uh we have to thank everybody that is uh, yeah, everybody here uh and uh and also it would be really cool if you guys when you hear the song uh, write us a comment give us a share it uh, share it uh feedback or yeah share you know, the cover uh, because because this is like an ex extra project, uh, so so basically we are working uh, like we we are getting help from Season of Mist when it comes to to kind of uh, to, to to you know sending out press releases and stuff like that. But this is kind of Green Connection's own project yeah. within the project. The, the record deal goes like this, and this is just another yeah. another thing that yeah. because Season of Mist is uh, like are, are great people, they they are helping us a bit, but. Yeah. The economy in it all is ours, and uh, although we kind of accept that we're not going to be mil billionaires when it yeah. comes to release this song, <laughs> uh, ev every kind of help would yeah. be like greatly appreciated. Yeah. Uh, talk about the single if you, at least if you like it. If you don't, you could just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to play yeah. a quite epic ending, I think, yeah. of yeah. this song. And thank you again. Uh, it's been a pleasure. It is. And always. I wouldn't say like. Hopefully we won't be back here in a couple of months, but we do have some other plans. That's our priority number one. And then it's going to be a little while until you see us presenting new material. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, anyway, thanks a lot and see you around. In your search you enter.